Appointments only involve you and are useful for scheduling purposes. Other staff and faculty members who view your calendar are able to see your status but cannot see personal information. For example, no one will be able to see that you are going to your dentist on Friday, but instead will see that you are busy. Meetings, however, involve others in the organization and show up on all other attendees' calendars. To schedule an appointment, click on the New Appointment button on the left side of the ribbon. The resulting pop-up window allows you to add the details of your appointment, such as time, date, and location. Within the Windows ribbon, you have the option to select your status. You can choose from free, tentative, busy, or out of office. Below that, you also have the option to create reminders. Simply click the drop-down arrow and choose how far in advance you would like to be reminded of your upcoming appointment. If you are forgetful, this will be an extremely helpful tool. Next reminder is Recurrence. Recurrence allows you to create an event that happens over and over. For example, if you have a committee meeting every Tuesday at 10 a.m., you can use this feature to create the appointment once, instead of manually entering it every week of the semester. Simply click Recurrence, then select the time and pattern of your appointment. Use the range to specify when your recurring appointment should stop. So let's choose the second week in May, or the end of the semester. To schedule a meeting, click on the New Meeting button next to the New Appointment button within the ribbon. Just like adding an appointment, you will now enter the details of your meeting. Because this is a meeting, however, you will also want to add attendees. This is done in a similar fashion to sending an email. Click To, and then select from the contact list by double-clicking on the name and clicking OK. You may request responses from the receivers by clicking Response Options within the ribbon.